Stay tuned for the biggest fish, the hottest bites, this week here on In-Depth Outdoors. With James Holst and Pat McSherry and the rest of the IDO fishing team. We're headed to the best fisheries across the upper Midwest and Canada. We'll fish longer, explore unfished bodies of water, and go further off the beaten path in search of the hottest bites in fresh water. Look at that fish. This is In-Depth Outdoors. Thanks for tuning in to today's episode of In-Depth Outdoors. I'm James Holst, and on today's show, we're headed back to the Mississippi River. Uh, the Mississippi River this winter has probably had one of the most consistent trophy panfish bites that I can remember in a long time. And this is a huge body of water. Uh, the area that we're talking about right now is essentially Pool 3, which is Hastings, Minnesota, all the way down to the Iowa border and beyond. And uh, the key species that's being targeted this season is the yellow perch. The populations have exploded. The size is incredible. We got out on the Mississippi River a couple weeks ago, wasn't able to connect with a very good friend of mine, Dave Kuntz. We've taken a look at the weather patterns and how much is uh, and how much ice is down there on the Mississippi River. One good warm week and it's all gonna go away. So we made the decision that, hey, if we're gonna get out with Dave, we're gonna do it this week. We're gonna hop in those hovercrafts and get out there to one of Dave's favorite spots where these big fish are found in huge numbers. And one of the things I love about coming to this part of the country, getting down on the Mississippi River, there's a completely different culture. Uh, the methods used to get out around on the ice are so different. Uh, it's so typical, we'd show up at a boat landing somewhere to launch here in Minnesota. It'd be all ATVs, side-by-sides, and maybe some snowmobiles. You get down here in this magnificent country, and you're more likely than not to hear the sound of a hovercraft. And that is how we get out there today across the ice. Uh, it's a pretty unique ride, let me tell you. A lot of these hovercraft are built in people's garages. They're ingenious, in my opinion, and they are one of the very best, if not one of the only ways, to get around safely on the ice on the Mississippi River. So stick around. We've got great perch action combined with some incredible, maybe some of the best underwater footage we've ever had here on End Up Outdoors. We are just getting started here. That did not take you long. <laughs> I am absolutely covered up by perch over here. Not a bad fish. All right. Yeah, I, I have three, four of them chasing me at a time. I think that's a good sign, James. <laughs> I've got powder snow in places I, did, I didn't know I could get powder <laughs> snow. <laughs> oh, we're set up this morning using our favorite jumbo perch bait, number three ultralight rip and wraps. Um, this is that glow perch color, by far our favorite. And uh, I think it's gonna be a good day, James. I think we're gonna keep some fish today and that one looks about perfect. Probably about 11 inch fish, great eater. So put that one on the ice. There he is. Ooh, there you go. Ooh. It was my turn to make him mad. <laughs> Come on, you. Come on. It's amazing what these little fish <laughs> can do in shallow water. <laughs> they can fight, boy. I'm mad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is amazing. Come here, you. God, look how beautiful they are. Wow. Very nice, James. Ugh. They are some of the prettiest perch. I don't care where you catch them. You get those just fluorescent almost orange fins. They are so cool. 
Again, I'm fishing a number three rip and wrap there. I think as long as it's got some orange on it to imitate a perch, you're gonna be all right. Come here, you. We are gonna keep a few fish today. You know what? I think I'm gonna let that one go. Yeah, that one might be a little over, over that's the a, mark. That's a sag-bellied mama. Yep. You know, Dave and I have fished together for quite a while. PJ's been down here for a long time. We can remember when there just wasn't very many perch down here on the river. I know there was about a five year stretch where you couldn't get Dave to keep a perch as those populations started to rebound from a lot of the, uh, you know, the restoration work. Now there's enough perch where a guy can take a, a meal home, but you still gotta use your head a little bit. These are a pretty cool deal and there's no reason to go overboard. There we go. Did I see how close he was? So, Holy choked it. I had that fish come up from five feet down to a foot underneath the ice. And when I set the hook, he had nowhere to go but up the hole. Oh my gosh. And he just crushed that thing. That little number five ripper, three rip and wrap is the funnest bait to fish with. I catch gills with it, crappies with it, perch with it. Bass like to steal them. Oh, look at that. A nice little guy, but I'm not keeping any fish today, so he gets another pass. See you, guy. At Eskimo, we have the tools to help you enjoy your time on the ice. They say man needs food, clothing, and shelter. When it comes to shelter, we like the Outbreak 450i with its full-size no-trip door that's nearly 74% bigger than a standard door, making it much easier to load and unload. With 75 square feet of fishable area, you'll be warm and comfortable during your day on the ice. Check out the Outbreak 450i and our full line of products at GetEskimo.com. From the first time you pick up a tuned up custom rod, you'll know you're holding something special. A rod not mass produced, but built one at a time by the hands of gifted craftsmen. Rods like the Precision, ice fishing's most versatile multi-species rod, or the Precision Noodle with a tip so sensitive you'll never fish a spring bobber again. And the Commander, the rod that's never met a big fish it couldn't best. Tuned up custom rods, ice rods handcrafted for you and the way you fish. Reed's Family Outdoor Outfitters in Walker, Minnesota has the hottest products for ice fishing at unbeatable prices. Everything from ice electronics, ice shelters, and ice clothing from all the top brands. And the newest lithium-powered augers with special everyday pricing on the Garmin LiveScope Ice Bundle. Whether you're visiting us in Walker, Minnesota, or placing an order online at reedsports.com, our state-of-the-art distribution center ensures you'll get your order fast. Reed's Family Outdoor Outfitters offers the best service, best price, best advice, guaranteed. Oh, he's hooked up. Connected. <laughs> and they were flying up on that thing angry. Over and over and over. Oh, yeah. That's a nice one. That's so, I just upsized all the way up to a number five rip and wrap. And because you're crazy. That's maybe an 11 inch perch. So that'll tell you just how gluttonous these fish really are. <laughs> They're little piglets. Yep. <laughs> yeah. You take a look at that bait. That's pretty large for that little mouth, but they don't mind. <laughs> um, they, they don't get a belly like that without being pretty serious about getting full a lot. Right. <laughs> I'll let, yeah, that one looks about keep a range I heck would yeah, think heck yeah. yeah we'll put that one over there all right yeah that uh as soon as I threw that bait down there they were just rifling at it so we'll see here
Oh, there he is. <laughs> These fish just got spunk, man. Yeah, it's crazy. You think about fishing deep water perch in places, and there there is absolutely no comparison. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> And that's why. <laughs> that's a that's a little piglet. Yeah, that is a piglet. Boy, Dave has got a really cool picture on his phone right now of what these fish are eating. They're just gorging on little bluegill. Actually, they're not that little. They're they're, they're bigger than the uh, number three ripping wrap I've got right here. But what a fish! That's super cool. Come off of there. But. Uh, yeah, buddy. I guided on the Mississippi River for a long time, and these perch just, the populations weren't there. It's so awesome to see them back. We got this little storm front going through. It's supposed to clear off later today, and our operating guess is that by the time it clears off this afternoon, the fish will slow down. So we're just gonna fish aggressive and stay on these things. During the snow fly, Ooh. or while the snow flies, Dave's got one hooked up. Little guy, he came up and sideswiped it. Don't get a hook in your foot. Ouch. Yeah. Not the healthiest, or not the biggest fish, but definitely healthy. There's a big population of these guys on the river. And there's that's actually on the small average size. But, uh, there is getting to be a better and better population of these perch um, on the river. I've been fishing Mississippi River in the 60s when I moved here, and uh, all the way through the 70s, 80s, 90s, and now, and I've never seen a perch population like this. We catch a random perch that size, maybe a little bigger, and it was gold. It was like, look what I caught. And now with all what the core and, and the DNR have done with all these islands and these backwaters and the perch population has just boomed. And you've seen today, some of these fish that we're catching are phenomenal. But again, I can't preach it enough to selective harvest. Let some of these big fish go and uh, keep some for, for eating, keep a meal. Um, but uh, we'll have these for a long time if we respect the resource. So get back at it. Gotcha. Boy, you get points for working that one, bud. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> I think he's big, though. <laughs> yeah, I seen him chasing me and just up and down. Oh, yeah. That is a pig. Oh, <laughs> <that> a piglet. <laughs> Sweet. The number five coming through. <laughs> Yeah, I, I was just yo-yoing, you see me, but there was three of them chasing, but this one in particular That's was very interested. <laughs> nice. Awesome. Let that big girl go. Off go. Sweet. That was Man, these perch make me smile, James. <laughs> you know, we keep uh, threatening to put out dead sticks, but I don't feel real motivated to do so right now. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't think it's necessary. Maybe when the sun comes out, huh? Yeah. Yep. Introducing the new ProSuit Jacket and Bibs from StrikeMaster. Built for the coldest, toughest conditions, the ProSuit features a ripstop polyester outer shell that is as comfortable as it is durable. A puff liner jacket adds both warmth and versatility, while integrated SOS stay on surface flotation provides up to two hours of flotation when the jacket and bibs are worn as a pair. StrikeMaster, the hottest brand on the ice. Okuma Fishing Tackle offers a complete lineup of reels for the die-hard ice angler. The Okuma Samar 10 and Inspira 20 are a perfect match with your favorite panfish or walleye ice fishing rod. Both feature a long stem handle that fits comfortably in a gloved hand. Cyclonic flow rotor technology that throws water off the reel to minimize ice buildup. And a drag system optimized for use in extreme conditions. Everywhere, every day, every fish. Okuma Fishing Tackle is inspired fishing. Does your sonar offer dual spectrum chirp, producing razor sharp images on an ultra bright HD display? The ability to tailor the display to the way you fish. Precision GPS functionality with legendary Lake Master mapping. 
to move effortlessly from ice to open water. If not, you should be fishing an Ice Helix, the electronic system that offers all the features and performance successful ice anglers demand, only from Humminbird. Suffix Advanced Mono is now on ice. Our toughest and most sensitive mono ever offers 50% less stretch than standard monofilaments. That means your hook sets are rock solid with virtually no line memory, no matter how cold the conditions. The line you choose is your direct connection between you and your next big bite. With Suffix, there's nothing you can't catch. Always use the best line. This winter, choose Suffix Advanced Ice Monofilament, the mono that thinks it's a braid. Yes, James. Uh, ooh, we got stuck on the side of the hall. There we go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look at that little guy. <laughs> I know. I mean, he's a nice fish, but compared to the size of the bait, that's just right. crazy. That is amazing that this bigger bait causes that type of reactionary strike. You know, it, I, I watched that fish flare up on it. I was talking to James. I mean, he, he followed it right up almost to the hole. Awesome. Yeah, a lot of guys would consider a number three a big bait. <laughs> right? I'm gonna let that one go, I think. Another fatty. There you go. Yeah, so with, with this bigger bait, I mean, that is totally the pattern that it, it uh, it just causes a reactionary strike. I've been fortunate enough to watch, you know, sight fishing as to how they react to this. And when you pop it and it, it kind of does a pendulum swing a, as it settles, you can actually watch these perch is they're all, all their, uh, their gill or their uh, fins and everything just flare out and they get super excited. And James has a big one on. <laughs> I wasn't going to say nothing. You were sharing some wisdom there. Yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. That is a pig. Oh, my. That a boy. <laughs> Grab him by the tail. Yep. <laughs> Look wow. at that thing. Dump, da da dum. It's an incredible fishery. I love the fact that there is a bite like this with a few hours from home. I mean, that is trophy class, world class perch. I don't care where you go. Just an amazing fish. We should get a bump on that one too, just to see. What an absolute slob, dude. 14 and some stuff. Well, the bait's keeping it off the yeah. bump there, but. It's over 14, so split the difference. That yeah. is a 14 inch perch that barely goes into a six inch hole. <laughs> <laughs> Just an, an awesome Dude, fish. That is a slob. I'm squeezing too hard. <laughs> this is a she, thank you. Yeah. I'm going to let you go if you just let go of that one hook. There we go. How about them apples? <laughs> See you later, big girl. You made my day. Woo. That was an absolute magnum. I know. <laughs> That's a two pounder. <laughs> that was. That's awesome. Pretty cool deal. Now I need to figure out a way to uh, defrost my thumbs because they are. I've got my heartbeat in my thumbs. Yeah. <laughs> Sun come out a little bit. Fish got a little fussy. There we go. We threw out some live bait. That Wisconsin favorite, Rosy Reds. Easy out. Nice fish. There we go. Oh, come here, buddy. <laughs> Just a fatty. Ooh, got me in the smudge. I'm still rocking that number five, and as you can see, definitely not too big. That fish just absolutely inhaled that bait. Um, you know, it, it's just amazing to me, you know, with these larger baits, especially, what, I mean, them guys are running number three, they work great, 
uh, but the reaction strike of these bigger baits I've actually been fortunate enough to watch these fish uh, sight fishing and how they react to this you know you do the rip and that that bait does a pendulum swing and these fish will actually flare out their fins and get all excited and start darting at that bait I'm gonna have to keep that one it is as deep as he choked it down I'm afraid he's bleeding a little bit and he won't release too well so unfortunately that one is coming home <sighs> Randall GM in Aiken, Minnesota's only haggle-free Chevrolet, Buick, and GMC dealer is a proud sponsor of In-Depth Outdoors TV. Our Brandle value price ensures that you don't have to spend your entire day haggling to get a great deal. And every new vehicle comes with our exclusive gimmick-free lifetime powertrain warranty. Whether you're in need of service, sales, parts, or body shop repair, stop by our state-of-the-art facility in Aiken or visit us 24-7 at BrandleGM.com. With the release of the Tungsten Bullfly Jig from BMC, your panfish presentation just got buggier. By creating a spot-on invertebrate imitator destined to fool the most wary panfish, the Tungsten Bullfly Jig is available in nine colors to further accommodate today's angling, including four metallic finishes and five ultra-glow colors, which hold a charge up to 15 minutes. This winter, match the hatch and outsmart the most finicky panfish with the BMC Bullfly Jig. Glacial Lakes Dock is now Glacial Lakes Recreation. Located in Starbuck, Minnesota, we offer the same great location, staff, and service with a new name to better fit our ever-expanding business. As an authorized dealer and service center for Yeti and now Alumalite Ice Houses, we have you covered if you're looking for a new house or just need a little service. Stop in today or check us out online at glaciallakesrec.com and make this ice season your most enjoyable and comfortable ever. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Right? That must be just in a nice little pile of weeds down there. And they like that number five. A nice fish. If I was keeping them, that would go home with me. But I'm not keeping today. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I love these little striped devils. Oh yeah, there we go. Nice. He has got the mouth full on that. Gotcha. That's just the perfect size in my in my book. Right around that 10 and a half, 11 inch range. Oh, there we go. Coaxed him right up underneath the hole. That's a nicer fish too. Oh, just golfed in that fire tiger. Rip and wrap. <laughs> That's a nice fish. <laughs> oh. It's not a bad perch at all. Wow. <laughs> Look at that. Got that hook right in the corner of its mouth. There's that little tiny O'Shaughnessy hook. They hook so nice. Whoop. So here's how I like to hook those rosy reds. And anytime I'm fishing like a shiner or a fathead, I hold them by the head and I come in behind that dorsal fin and get down, oh, maybe an eighth of an inch. Lightly hook, come out the other side. That minnow will just sit down there swimming all enticingly. And then I'll kind of walk you through what we're doing here, how we're setting these flags. For those of you at home that you like to use the iFish Pros, what we're doing is we're positioning the rod so the wind is blowing basically this way, right across the line. And I'll show you here in a minute why that's kind of important. Now with the wind blowing right to me, what I'm gonna do is I've got the bait feeder on, which is just real minimal tension. I'll pull out a little extra line. And what I'll do is I'll let that line billow here between the rod tip and the base. That's kind of my extra, you know, slop line, if you will. I'll reset that trigger to the lightest position. And very often what happens is, those perch will come up, they'll eye that bait, they'll swim around, when they finally decide to grab it, they eat it. And then when they pop that flag, they don't feel anything until they chew up this extra line. 
where I position the rod and the base is kind of important because if I was to take and turn this so the rod was pointing in that direction, when the flag popped, it would get into the line. You don't want that. Obviously that would tangle up around the flag. The fish is gonna feel that and spit the hook if it can. You want just enough to give yourself just a little bit of slack line. And it doesn't seem like much, but it's all it takes. Hey, hey, hey. It's all it typically takes to give that fish what it needs to eat. There he is. Tell me that don't work. <laughs> Oop, hello. There's a good eater. Boy, that fish was right on cue, huh? If only we could uh, train him like that, Dave. Did you see that? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> see you later. But so it's just that little trick. Um, the little nuances uh, when you're using the iFish Pros that really make a huge difference on your hooking percentage. I mean, our hooking percentage out here is, is ridiculously good. Uh, very rarely miss or lose fish. Yeah. Oh, I smacked it. There, buddy. Not a bad fish. We really had a huge shift in conditions here today. We started off with the snow. Now we've got the sun, and really it doesn't quite seem to matter. We're, we're still picking away at them. Get that one back. Let it go, bud. So that brings us to the end of today's show, and let me tell you, today was pretty epic. You know, uh, we get excited every time we get out there on the ice. Uh, you get PJ and Dave Kuntz uh, together. It's always a good time. This was a special day on the ice. The size of these fish are incredible. We were really picky about the perch we took home. Uh, we let all the biggest fish go, and we still went home with an incredible mess of perch. If you get out on the Mississippi River anytime soon, please do the same. Uh, we've got something really impressive growing, coming together on this fantastic body of water. Let's do our part collectively to take care of it. And uh, as always, anytime we're filming in this area, I've got to send a shout out to the United States Fish and Wildlife Service for giving us permission, for permitting us to film in the refuge on the Mississippi River. So to all of us here at In Depth Outdoors, we thank you for watching. We'll see you next week. For more info on the latest fish reports, gear recommendations, and hottest techniques, connect with us online at indepthoutdoors.com or follow us on Facebook at In Depth Outdoors. And if you enjoyed today's show, be sure to let our sponsors know.